right the center this now. Former Nigerian President Olusegun Obasanjo says Prince Mangasudu Teleze's resilience in the face of adversity should be replicated by today's leaders. He was speaking during the inaugural annual lecture hosted by a foundation named after the IFP leader. Museum Africa's Zianda Ngobo has that report. In honoring Prince Mangosutu Telezi, former Nigerian President Olusegun Albasanjo reflected on the royal lineage from which the IFP founder comes. Obasanjo says the spirit of Butelezi's ancestors who led the Battle of Isangwana, which saw the defeat of British imperialists, has been embodied by the Amazulu traditional prime minister over the years. Prince Butelezi was well ahead of today's academics. Prince Butelezi recognized the importance that traditional leaders play in situations such as South Africa faced in the 1990s. Traditional leaders, and in his case, the Zulu king, had the unique ability to represent whole societies and communities during negotiation and the ability to sway public opinion one way or the other. The former leader says the role played by stalwarts such as Telezi during the negotiations to transition from apartheid to a free South Africa is what has set this nation apart from others on the mother continent. While South Africa was able to avoid a civil war, many countries in Africa have not been so lucky, including my own country, Nigeria. What we very often see develop in many cases is a cycle of conflict and issues remain unresolved and leaders find it difficult to cooperate with those who yesterday they saw as enemies. Many leaders be it at the national or local level, find it hard to reconcile with their opponents and difficult to work with them, even if they have signed a peace agreement. I believe that if more leaders in Africa have the strength and foresight of Prince Butelezi, then Africa might be able to free itself of the shackles of conflict, then we will be able to silence the gun. Prince Telezi thanked Obasanjo for what he says and has continuously reiterated that the formation of Inkata Freedom Party was at the behest of senior ANC leaders in the 1970s. Even though our movement, the African National Congress, rejected the homeland system, they believed that I could undermine the system of apartheid from within as part of a multi-strategy approach to our liberation struggle. That is the mission I'm proud to have accomplished, protecting not, not only the citizenship of black people in this province, but all black people in South Africa. At 94 years of age, Dr. Obasanjo says the legacy of Prince Mangosutu Telezi is already cast in gold and will outlive him for generations to come. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Zianda Ngobo in Durban.